Hello and welcome to Season 4, Episode 1 of Publicity. In this episode, we will be taking a look into the Parks and Recreation Department located here in Jim Barnett Park. Joining me, I have Sam Chrisman, who is the Assistant Director of the Park. Thanks for joining me, Sam. Thanks for having me, Derek. 2020 was quite a year for all of us. Now that we've entered 2021, how has COVID impacted the park and what policies are in place to keep people safe? That's a great question. Uh, COVID-19 posed a lot of questions for us, but staff here at the park did a stellar job rising to the challenge. Right now, we've increased our cleaning policies and we are also operating under some reduced capacity for our facilities so that we can help keep people safe. What current programs are happening in the park right now? Um, right now, we have some drop-in sports like spike ball, uh, as well as basketball and pickleball. And we're also offering private music lessons. Each of these programs has modifications in place to help keep people safe. Are there any upcoming leagues or programs in the park? Yeah, there are some upcoming programs. We've got some adult athletic leagues. Those include kickball, ultimate frisbee, and spike ball. We also are offering water aerobics and aqua fun classes. Um, we have youth flag football coming up, as well as a monthly creative crafters club and a cooker, cookie decorating class lined up for this spring. What are the current park projects underway? Uh, right now, Shenandoah University has been doing some great work on Bodie Grimm and Hankel Harris fields, and those should be ready to go here very soon. Work's also being done on the Green Circle Trail, thanks to the city's public works department. And we'll be doing some cutting of invasive species in the Abrams Creek wetlands this spring. With spring quickly approaching and with COVID in mind, what are some outdoor activities that the public can take part in? Um, of course, we have our trails in Jim Barnett Park, as well as the Green Circle Trail throughout the city of Winchester. We also have a great disc golf course, uh, as well as the dog park for your furry friends. Um, we're currently not renting our shelters due to COVID-19 restrictions, but we are offering them up on a first come first served basis. Is there anything we didn't go over that you think the public should know? Uh, we would just ask that people please keep in mind that you do need a reservation for classes such as water aerobics and aqua fun, as well as general swim in the racquetball court. And of course, in any activity that you're doing throughout the parks, please try your best to observe the guidelines as given by the governor. Sam, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Derek. This is Derek signing off, and we'll catch you next month on Publicity.